Hey there, this is Kelly Key, and I wanted to kind of go over a subject that was told to me where um, they were saying that certain actions are either thought out or a gut feeling. So I decided to actually research that a little bit more, and I came up with these two articles, and... Um, I wanted to kind of look at what was the difference between the two and why would someone want you to um, go with your gut now the interesting thing is is that you know when I first think about a gut I think about stomach area intestines um, not necessarily a thought process so generally a lot of times when that said um, you know often and that's only been said to me like once so let's kind of go into that and it says go with your gut trust your instincts uh, find your true north regardless of vernacular um, we love to romanticize intuition the feeling which some call a deep knowing is characterized by understanding something with little to no explanation it's why some people avoid specific alleyways why others turn down seemingly perfect jobs or why two lovers marry after six months they just know so The confusing thing when the person actually stated that to me, um, it was like confusing, like um, they necessarily wanted to try to find out who I actually was and whether or not if probably if what they were saying to me or how they were treating me was a gut feeling or if it was something that had something to do with analytical um, the interesting thing is is that when you look at this article and a deep knowing um, you start realizing that generally there is some sort of explanation because if you've lived long enough then you really kind of understand certain things for this the way that it actually is and you see others and you see how things are being perceived or how um, things are being um, explained and the interesting thing is is that a gut feeling and what is it telling you now that's interesting only if you were like the only person that was able to think out what was really going to end up happening or go with what was really going to be happening and generally the problem with that whole kind of a scenario is is that ultimately there are billions of people in this world and you can't necessarily just act out on your own generally there are two people and or a multiple people and generally if somebody says that to you they're trying to seemingly make you into something that you're actually not either it was something that was told to them or something that they perceive about you and they're basically kind of going with their gut with no explanation so therefore they're treating you a certain way and they don't necessarily know why or based upon what you're actually saying is the reason why they're actually treating you that way but the problem with that is is that let's say that there are two people and they get married after six six months because they just know which is actually good but then the other person tricked the other person into marrying them 
um, but like this article says, you know, um, what if we ask our intuition for guidance and get nothing or worse conflicting answers? The problem is a lot of times if you're, you know, tricked into a situation, six months is really not a long time unless two people are pretty much um, being totally honest with each other and um, the intention behind it is something that is um, a good situation for both not just taking one for a ride and just seeing what somebody's going to do based upon um, what they're actually saying um, instead um, it's a trick so therefore your gut necessarily doesn't have anything to do with that um, because you were um, misled now these questions once as the article says once consumed me over a year ago I was debating whether or not to stay in what felt like a seemingly toxic relationship breakup sounded horrible but the thought was always there in a passive aggressive fight uh, over dishes was enough to send me spiraling somewhere something told me that the relationship just wasn't right but the feeling was quite was um was a quieter than uh anxiety a low hum of a household dryer as opposed to a shrieking kettle thus hard to trust over time it downright tormented me um the interesting thing is is that when you're forced into a situation um a lot of times not given any sort of way out or anything like that and people try to force your decisions um, whether it's on the job or whether it's um, in a family setting or in a friend setting um, they try to force your your hand and if there is an overwhelmingly amount of people who figure that they can um, benefit from trying to make a situation bad um, by changing things up shortly after um, saying one thing and then trying to um, switch things up later on then you start realizing that it was pretty much kind of a trick bag now the interesting thing is is that um, like growing up you start realizing that there are certain entities that you're supposed to trust there are certain ent ent entities that you're supposed to be able to have to assist you in certain situations and if there's a breakdown in those entities as far as how they perceive you because rest assured even though they're entities they're still human beings that are acting out in those certain jobs so therefore they're playing along with the same um, I'm hesitant to say mental capacity or um, active clarity or um, um, more so of like a test so let's look at this community toolbox kind of session and it says um, what is an action step an action step refers to a specific efforts that are made to each the goal your agency has set action sets are in exact detail of your action plan they should be constant um, concrete and comprehensive and each step should explain what will occur how much or what extent these actions will occur who will carry out these actions and when these actions will take place and for how long what resources such as money and staff are needed to carry out the proposed actions taken together your 
defined action steps compromise your group's actions plan and so when you actually look at these two situations there is a definite difference between one and the other and when let's say a therapist wants you to um, go with your gut um, but they're not giving you any sort of support or anything like that to um, assist in um, bridging that relationship or understanding that relationship henceforth kind of the same way as if we look at um, let's kind of this is kind of gonna go the Olympics and Paralympics are back and watching our athletes were once So we're going to take a look at this science of taking action. J'adore les post-it. I love post-it notes. I love post-it notes so much that if I had one right now, I would say, voulez-vous coucher avec moi? <laughs> I, I love post-it notes so much that I bought stock in 3M just to support post-it notes. Uh, and it turns out they have a lot of interesting uses. So you can use them to decorate your office. You can use them for sunscreen. <laughs> you can use them for the most awesome winter is coming Game of Thrones party. <laughs> you can use them to teach someone a lesson who parks in a handicapped space they shouldn't have parked in. And apparently you can even use them for cheese. <laughs> so a few years ago, I was at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas in the United States, the interactive film and music festival. And 3M was there, and they were giving out these massive post-it notes. These ones are bigger than the size of a human head. And I had never seen these before, so I was really excited. So I took a lot of them, like a lot. Uh, and I'm with a friend, and we're carrying them, trying to figure out what we're going to do with them. And we walk over to a, a bar, uh, and we sit down. And we find a, a great spot that's looking outside on this beautiful day. And we're just sitting outside, watching people as they go across. And we're thinking, like, what do we want to do with these post-it notes? And almost as a joke, we just scribbled on one of them, free problem solving, hashtag zero problems. So a lot of times when I'm looking through some of these self-help um, situations and then I'm listening to people that I come in contact with, either um, family members of people that I've come in contact with before or um, associates of theirs or friends of theirs or just a complete stranger um, generally a lot of times there is a variety of different um, thought processes actually going on and when a person sits back and and tells you to go with your your gut a lot of times if you're in a trusted situation and um, um, that would make a lot of sense but the problem is is that um, the more that you run up against situations um, that are not healthy um, you start realizing that the people that are in your support network um, that should be helping um, a lot of times aren't and even if they um, kind of fix things later on like I was watching a uh, another video about self-help and um, how a person was putting together a computer and um, they were criticizing the way that they were putting together the computer um, now given that there is a lot of information out there number two there is a there is instructions that you actually go through um, when you're actually building a computer and to the point where sometimes um, some people figure that well they know pretty much everything kind of the same way with my great states lawnmower um, and when Walmart sent that lawnmower out they actually sent a booklet of uh, or a pamphlet of instructions with it um, now I could have 
pretty much kind of just tried to figure that out on my own. But the interesting thing is, is that um, when people try to tell you, like there was a lot of videos that I was looking at when I first started getting into um, some computer building um, where, you know, just you don't need this or you don't need that or whatever. And you throw out things and then somebody comes up and they mimic that same action. But then the treatment for one person is different than the treatment for the next person so therefore it's acceptable and funny when somebody that majority of the people like um, do it and they'll support it and kind of um, make jokes about it and say oh well he's just joking he really actually knew and as opposed to um, somebody that they don't necessarily like um, or want to make an obstacle out of or um, an example out of um, as opposed to the person that they actually like now some may say well that's not all that um, interesting topic to talk about but as life goes on and as those situations go on and manifest in someone's life um, the interesting thing is that um, the people that you um, do harm to or the people that you necessarily don't like or have this obsession of either trying to teach a lesson to because of the characteristics how you perceive them to be or what was told to you um, is a certain way maybe your father or maybe your mother or auntie or uncle or whatever told you some certain things about certain people and you figure well all right well this is the kind of person that my auntie or uncle or mother or father told me about so they deserve to be treated this way or they deserve to be treated that way the problem is with that whole scenario is is that you're not giving a chance to get to know who that individual is and to be able to um, coexist with that individual because we're all not the same you know um, we were brought here and taught certain things and our environments are a little bit different and so therefore um, we physically on the outside a lot of us may look the same but on the inside a lot of us are different in the way that we perceive the world so you know when you go back to this video of a problem solving and you, you know the outward message I mean it, it it sounds good and the intentions sound good and the thought process sound good the only problem is is that if it was all meant as a joke and then if somebody's really taking that seriously um, and they get taken advantage of now a lot of times I'll see certain um, situations where especially like the older crowd um, get taken advantage of in certain situations and for the younger it seems really really funny until the interesting thing is is that um, eventually we all do get older and the problem is is that when you do get older and you get taken advantage of um, most people if you've lived in a situation where um, your immediate action was was to um, uh, get angry or something like that or whatever um, because of the surrounding people around you then uh, the problem is is that you know the older that you get a lot of times you lose certain individuals and you know you have to be really really careful because like certain people around me they have you know done certain things and um, sometimes some things are defense mechanism but people nowadays have taken defense mechanisms um, even though you see some do the same thing like I've seen certain people um, threaten people and do a lot of just really really bad things and um, for some that just seems like that's just okay 
you know they don't report it or however it actually goes that just seems like it's okay but there are certain people that don't want you to report anything they want things to kind of go as a status quo they don't necessarily know the history and so therefore they want to rewrite your history or um uh, dictate what's right and wrong and even though some things are socially wrong because you're not supposed to treat certain people a certain way but in certain groups that's okay from what I understand but then that doesn't necessarily make it right just because it's okay within that small group and even if the entire world which that would be a false statement because it's not possible for everybody to perceive that because if everybody perceived it that way then um, the world would be extremely corrupt and one thing that I've learned is that there is a multitude of people who want to um, provoke or try to intimidate or bully certain people or make things bigger than they actually should be just so that therefore they can reap the benefit of it and say oh well I was you know I was hurt but even though they were the ones who um, initiated it you know um, and then when they get into a certain situation then they try to play like they didn't actually know what was actually going on or whatever and you kind of look at it and you do kind of see through it but then a lot of times you know you like somebody will ask you know well why didn't at this point you take action against this or why didn't you report this at this point or that point or whatever um a lot of times it's it's systemized um or semat or or um systematic um for some reason there is a a certain um, category of people who um, want to be able to um, learn through somebody else so therefore they find that well everybody else is doing it so therefore that's just what I'm gonna do to this person and I'm just gonna treat them really really bad too or whatever and then um, not realizing that you know you're actually kind of within the same situation as everybody else um, and I know that this kind of sounds confusing because anytime you're actually talking about um, mental capacities of people and how well you treat people and you know it becomes a problem when the people that are supposed to protect let's say your government agencies your um, police force your psychiatrist your hospitals your um, you know your friends your tribe as they actually call it or um, village um, of people who are supposed to be able to, to help or whatever um, when they um, don't act in that capacity and they act in the capacity of the villain or whatever um, to try to regain um, a certain dominance in a certain area so that therefore they can feel like they're in control um, whether it's um, because the individual that they're attacking is educated whether or not if they are um, whether or not if they are um, not really part of that group or wasn't raised that way maybe they have two parents maybe they have one parent you know in their household um, maybe they grew up around their cousins maybe they didn't grow up around their cousins uh, maybe they got married maybe they didn't maybe they're gay maybe they're lesbian maybe they're questioning what is the whole purpose of all this or whatever and, and instead um, they think that it's quite funny to just well I'm just gonna say any old kind of thing to this person because I don't really necessarily care and so therefore um, 
going back to my original statement about the person who said to me, you know, well, I want you to act out, you know, your gut. You know, I don't want you to think about it. I just want you to act out your gut. Now, when a professional who is in the capacity that they're supposed to be a support group um, starts saying that, um, ultimately what they're saying is is that well you're doing what you're supposed to do but i don't want you to do what you're supposed to do i'm hoping that me telling you things is that you're just gonna run out and you're just gonna do things um and not really understand and so therefore then i can correct you and then if i correct you then i'm justifying myself and then i can put you basically in more trouble than you actually um, probably already perceived to be in. So on that note, you know, just wanted to kind of give some clarification. Hopefully that actually helps somebody. I don't know if anybody else is actually going through those kind of situations, but a lot of times I see, um, on, in my feed where there are people who not necessarily are in trouble or have situations or have problems but they're constantly begging for help even though they are doing better than the 99 percent of the other people in the world and i just kind of look at, at that and i see just how that circle actually kind of goes around and the interesting thing is, is that, um, you know, a lot of times they, you know, the other people who are, are watching and attacking other people based up upon these frivolous kind of statements of somebody saying, you know, well, this ha happening just because they have a platform. Um, they're saying those, those things, and it's actually quite profitable because at the end of the day, um, majority of these people it's a business and through controversy it sells certain items um, it it segregates certain people um, from other people and mindsets and so therefore um, over time I guess we'll see how things play out and like I said I'm not an expert um, I'm actually listening to certain experts and um trying to really understand you know their point of view whether or not if they're helping or if they're not helping and a, a lot of times um you won't necessarily know that until you actually see the end result so on that note i'd like to thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next video.